What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. One dumbbell is all you're gonna need today for this great chest and shoulder workout finisher. Now, I say chest and shoulder workout, if you're going to train your chest and shoulders together, if you're doing a push workout, you can do this as a finisher for that workout. If you're doing a chest workout, you could do this as a finisher for your chest workout. If you're doing a shoulder workout, you could do this as a finisher for your shoulder workout. And like I said, you only need one dumbbell. And the reason why we can do this is because the proximity of these muscles together, if you look at them anatomically, we see that the front delt runs in here, actually. I have a muscle marker to prove it. The front delt runs down and around here like this, okay? All the fibers run down this way. Well, we know that, got two muscle markers, guys, that the chest also obviously comes in here as well, okay? Like this from the upper fibers here, and then we have the chest itself. It's a little hard to draw this way but the chest kind of heading out in this direction. So these muscles are close to each other. They prefer to work together. So there's a great advantage that we have. And again, depending upon what your goals are, you can either use a lighter weight or you can use a heavier weight here. Metabolically, if I do this, I like to go for about 100 reps. So what you do is you take the dumbbell here and you clasp it with your fingers this way. We grab it with a squeeze grip. Okay, the squeeze grip, the purpose is I'm trying to push this dumbbell and smash it right there between my hands. So here, I grab it like this, and the goal is to activate the chest by pushing my hands together on the dumbbell, and then get my traps involved as well here, and I go and I lift up in front of me. So I'm working the front delts with the front delts and the chest together, the tie-in of these muscles together, and I lift it up and down, squeezing it the whole time. And again, metabolically, I can go for 100. Don't lose the squeeze. And again, at the end of any chest workout or shoulder workout or chest and shoulders, if you were doing a push workout, that's going to be a brutal killer, but it's going to be a great way to tie it all together. Your abs work too at the same time. Now, I can go for the heavier version of this too. Grab here. Again, same thing. Grab on here. Tighten the abs. Squeeze it here. Up. And remember, with a finisher, you can do some rest pause here and crank out a few more reps. The so last thing you're doing, make sure it's your last best effort. So you're done. So, guys, something really quick, again, uh, has a lot of different uses depending upon what it is that you just trained, but a great way to finish your workout. And again, integrating muscles that like to work together, we're giving that opportunity. Guys, if you found it helpful, make sure you share it with your other friends that go to the gym, help them out, and maybe even help them even more by pointing them towards our channel here. Tell them to subscribe. In the meantime, if you're looking for a program that puts the science back in strength, head to athletics.com right now and get our athletics training program. All right, guys, be back here again in just a few days with another video. See you.